Hi everyone. In this lecture of ours, we are going to look into how to install Python 3 in your system. Now, to install Python, we will be using the free Anaconda distribution. This distribution includes Python as well as many other useful libraries including Jupyter Notebook. Anaconda can also be easily be installed on all the major operating systems that we have right now including Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Now let's look into how to install Anaconda. Now I am in my browser window so I am using Google Chrome as my default browser. Whichever browser you are using just search up Anaconda Navigator. Clicking on this click on the first link that is individual edition. I'll be opening it in a new tab. Now in this individual edition we are going to install it up. Why? Because all the other editions are, are to be paid out. This is the only freeware that is available and this will be enough for us to get our hands dirty in Python or any other Python usage or applications. Now to download the individual edition we have to just click on download. It will get us to the Anaconda installer. If you are using Windows then click on the two links whichever you are using. So this is the latest version that is Python 3.8. Now. If you are in Mac OS, just click on 64-bit, whichever you are using. If you want to install it by command line installer or a graphical installer. We also have Linux. Now, I am using Windows and 64-bit, so I'm going to click on this. Just by clicking on it, the download has begun up. Now, it will take quite a time to install it up. Till then, let me show you how to install it up. Clicking on docsanaconda.com we'll get exactly how to install Anaconda Navigator into our system. So uh, we are using the individual edition. So we have the installation process over here. We have a user guide. Now, what is Anaconda Navigator and how to use it? Everything is present over here. A very important thing about Anaconda Navigator over here is that if you're lacking in size or if you don't have enough space in your system, then there's also available a mini conda environment where it is quite similar to Anaconda, but it is smaller in size. So you can also install mini conda, but we are going to focus into Anaconda Navigator as of now. Now for installing on Windows, uh, just we have to, uh, our, after downloading our uh, setup, something like this will open up, clicking on the default place where you want to install it up clicking on next keeping everything at default state we are going to keep at this default right now we are not going to change uh, the environment variable so we are going to unselect this and select uh, register anaconda as my default python 3.7 clicking on install the installation process will begin and successfully it will be installed in your system okay. now that Anaconda has been installed in my system. Let me show you a quick peek on how Anaconda Navigator looks like. This is my desktop. Let's open up Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Navigator has been opened out and this is how the Anaconda Navigator looks like. This is quite the UI of Anaconda Navigator. We have all the toolkits that are required. We have CMD prompt, data lore, IBM Watson, Cloud Window, Jupyter Lab, Notebook, PowerShell. Even we have VS Code, PyCharm, and eventually Spider too. Now, before discussing any much deeper about all of these, what are these, and what is a notebook environment, what is a full IDE, let's look into exactly what is Python IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Before knowing about IDE, let's have a very practical example. Right now, whatever I'm seeing or whatever your teachers or any person whom you're hearing out for any educational purpose, what do you do when they send out anything? You try to make out notes, right? Then what is the place where you note out your notes? Probably you will be having a copy and you will be having a pen and write out each and every notes, whichever you feel important, right? So similarly, 
for writing python also we need a place we need somewhere where we can write python code and execute it that is where ide comes into play and ide is an integrated development environment that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development so a lot of big words just come came into play but as of now just get it that this is a place where you can write python code now there are three ways or three environments where you can write out python code we have a text editor we have full id and we have notebook environment now text editors text editors are generally uh, uh, like sublime text or uh, probably atom general text editors are for any text file whichever text files you are having those uh, tech uh, those files have been made keeping uh, text on my so it is not specifically designed only for python so you can also write your web development code over there so a lot of functionalities are already missing out from over there and moreover for writing anything in your text editor you are got to save it at dot py and then run it out from your command line statement now in the next kind we have full id full id is designed specifically for python but one of the disadvantage of it is only the community editions are free but that is again enough for you guys to get started with python there are a lot of functionalities present in full id as these are made just by keeping python in mind you have a lot of functionalities that are only present in python a lot of toolkits that you are going to use out again in full id some of the famous full ids are pycharm and spider the last one is the note notebook environment it increases the readability of the code as you can see the input and output in the same place so wherever you are writing out your python code probably in the next line you are going to display out the text out now this is not saved as a dot py or uh, any dot uh, py format as you can see in script in full id or text editor you are going to save your file as dot py as they are python script but notebook environments are of different file format they are saved as dot py and b that stands for dot python notebook file now some of the famous environments are jupyter notebook and google colab now a very important thing is development environments or id are a personal choice and highly dependent on personal preference as for this course we are going to use jupyter notebook that is the notebook environment as we want to display out the input and output at the same place and moreover it will increase the readability of the code but eventually if you want to start with text editors or full id you are totally open out to go and code the same code can be written out in full id as well as text editors so you are open to use any of those but for the video lectures and the notes we are going to use jupyter notebook in our next session we are going to have hands on experience on jupyter notebook and we are going to run out our first ever python code that is we are going to display out our name thank you very much until we meet again